Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and a very happy new year. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and like me are looking forward to rocking 2021 in style. So today I'm sharing some outfit ideas from my own capsule wardrobe. Outfits that are super easy for you to recreate yourself and perfect if you're a fan of effortless style like myself. If you're new here, it'd be really wonderful if you could subscribe to my channel for all my weekly outfit ideas and style inspiration. And don't forget to tap all notifications on the pop-up, which will just send you a quick reminder each time I've uploaded a new video. And at the end of this video, follow the link in the description box below to find my daily style pictures over on Instagram. Right, let's get straight to it with winter outfit number one. Now, while it's fun playing with new styles and trends each season, there is something to be said for sticking with the classics, especially when that means bringing in a little bit of Parisian style. Which brings me to the Breton top, the gift that keeps on giving year after year. This little beauty is new in in my winter capsule wardrobe and I love it. I bought it just before Christmas and it's swiftly become a new favorite. It's made from organic cotton, so it feels really lovely against my skin, but the chunky knit gives it more of a cozy sweater vibe rather than something that needs layering. Now the joy of a Breton top is of course the fact that you can mix and match it in so many different ways than I could possibly squeeze into a 10 minute video. So here I'm wearing one of my favorite outfit ideas. Keeping it simple with light wash jeans and ankle boots, bringing out the navy tone with my coat and adding a sprinkle of Parisian with my handbag. You could switch out the blue denim for white, add a black boot to tie in with your bag, or for warmer climates, ditch the coat and add your sunnies. There are endless possibilities with this one. Don't save your smart trousers just for the office. There are so many more ways you could wear them. Now, obviously the addition of my trainers instantly relaxes the look, but then I polished it again with my recycled cashmere sweater, complementing that tone, but not matching with my crop jacket and adding my leather toe into the mix for another take on that neutral shade, but with a contrasting texture. Now socks kind of ruined this look. And while I'm all for suffering for my fashion, if it's absolutely freezing outside, you could add tights underneath, which keeps the line of your ankle slimline to go with those cigarette trousers. If you don't already have a pair of cigarette trousers in your capsule wardrobe, I can highly recommend you putting them on your wish list. I've added some really affordable favorites that I found across the high street in the description box below. Now I'll admit it's not the most groundbreaking look of the season, but the coat and boot trend never seems to fail. It's not only practical, but when it comes to making winter outfits, this is one look that always seems to be on the fashion carousel. Now to update this look, make sure your boots are at least knee high. You get extra points for over the knee, but in truth, they look ridiculous on me. So I always tend to stick with this sort of style. Now I think this coat will always make it into my winter capsule wardrobe, both for its versatility, but also its ability to smarten whatever I might be wearing underneath. But the coat can actually be any color and still work just as nice. I just like to make sure the tones are on a similar train of thought. Now, of course, the sales are a great time to invest in a beautiful winter coat. And I found some absolutely gorgeous versions across the high street, the independents and with the designers. So in the description box below, I shall link to some of my favorites I found recently because there's definitely a few bargains to be had. Now, has anyone else discovered a love for leather trousers recently? I went from doubting their very existence in my capsule wardrobe to wearing them on repeat. Thankfully, mine have softened enough now that I don't resemble Ross from Friends trying to get them on. And I much prefer the slight slouch that the leather's taken on rather than that really unforgiving, super tight leather. My favorite way to style them so far this winter has been with a great big chunky knit. Because you've kept your bottom half quite slimline, it means you can get away with quite oversized knits. And this one from COS is definitely one of my favorites. Now this look would work with ankle boots, of course, but I really quite like the look of dressing it down with trainers. Styled with my crossbody bag breaks up the knit nicely, or a cropped puffer jacket would add to this look nicely. I know there is literally nowhere to go right now, but that doesn't have to stop you getting dressed up for parties in the kitchen. And throwing caution to the wind, I've broke my own rule of wearing heels on my brand new wooden floor. So for house parties with your own family, or maybe via Zoom, this is the sort of outfit I would wear. It's that casual, effortless kind of chic. I'm comfy in my jeans and a floaty laid back blouse, elevated with my 
my heels and a splash of gold jewelry. And if needed, a light wool coat thrown over my shoulders. I think the key to looking effortless in evening winter outfits is really about comfort. I don't know about you, but I'm personally not hugely comfortable in a skin tight bodycon dress. I'd wear one if it was right for the occasion, but I don't think I could say it was exactly comfy or I felt relaxed in it. My favourite out-out styles are always much more relaxed, more chilled out, more my personal style. Maybe elevated with heels or a nice clutch, but they're always easy going at their core. Apologies in advance to anyone watching in Oz or anywhere else super warm, but for us Brits, winter outfits must include a whole lot of jumpers. But I'm a firm believer in trying to make something warm and toasty look as chic as possible. One simple trick I reach for time and time again, and it's actually something I'm conscious of when I shop for my capsule wardrobe, is trying to match my jumpers with the coats I already have. It instantly makes an outfit feel more polished. For the ultimate tonal outfit, you can opt for dark jeans, but personally I like adding a lighter blue into the mix. For a more subtle approach, go with lighter neutrals. I love a palette of camels, I think that always looks chic. And I'm a big fan of grey mild jumpers layered with charcoal grey coats. My loafers keep this look feeling informal, but I think the combination of all those elements together make it feel elegant at the same time. Talking of full tonal, in this look I did just that, albeit with a sprinkle of camel into the mix. You could easily recreate this look with a cohort, of which there are many different options on the high street. And you don't have to go with trousers either, a colour blocked maxi skirt and top would look equally nice and have the same effect. While I personally prefer lighter neutral tones that just make me think of cosy log fires for some reason, I do also admire those that can rock this look with really bright bold tones. Head to toe emerald green outfits for example can look absolutely amazing or even red in the right shade. So don't be afraid of colour if that's your thing and you love it and you feel good in it, my personal taste is just to prefer these lighter tones. These kind of winter outfits are the perfect opportunity to play with contrasting textures. Maybe mix a satin skirt with a matching chunky knit or a smooth wool with a cable knit, a silk with cashmere. Playing with that combination of textures really really makes a tonal outfit come alive. This blazer has definitely had its wear in my capsule wardrobe, and even better, it looks as good today as it did the day it arrived. Made from 100% recycled Italian wool, it's truly been made to last. And I think it's fair to say it's become one of my favorite pieces to make outfits with. The menswear inspired shape gives it that effortless cool, and the blend of tones together, rather than just one matte color, gives it a depth that I love. Plus, of course, a grey blazer will go with a million different outfit ideas. I probably even wear this one more than my black one. Here, I've styled it with my needle cord flares, definitely something I reach for when I want to feel a bit taller, and accessorised with a light grey scarf and charcoal crew neck, which contrasts nicely with the blazer tones. The outfit feels thrown together and haphazard, which is probably why I like it so much. It's not too contrived, it's comfy, it's elongating, and with a nod to a few different trends, it feels up to date, all rolled into one. Now while I do love my jeans, one thing that always manages to make me ditch them is a lovely pair of cigarette trousers. I picked these up a while ago from H&M and they quickly became a firm favourite in my capsule wardrobe. In fact, this is probably an area where you can save rather than spend because there are so many great options on the high street. I shall link a couple of my favourites in the description box below. Now I like styling them with ballet flats, of course a little nod to Audrey Hepburn, but it's a look I don't think is ever going to date. On my top half, I decided to contrast the navy with a tone that Evelyn calls cider and complement it with the cosy tone of my camel coat. There's an easy elegance to outfits like this, which might explain why I've been wearing it on repeat this winter so far. When I want to look a bit more refined, elegant and classy, this is the sort of outfit I tend to create. Beautiful warm tones of golden brown blended with cosy knits. It's a combination of layering, but making sure the items I use bring something different to the table. So for instance, the waffle knit of my jumper sat against the smoothness of my coat, the slight silky feel to the trousers with the leather on my bag and my shoes. Just have a play with winter outfits like this and keep blending in pieces you think might work. It's a bit of trial and error, but you'll know and you'll feel when you've got the balance right. 
I really hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you lots of outfit ideas for this winter 2021. It's always lovely to hear from you in the comments section below, so do let me know which was your favorite outfit idea I put together. And don't forget, if you did like this video, I would really appreciate if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, that would be lovely too. I'll be back in a couple of days with more outfit ideas and inspiration. So hopefully I will see you then. Take care.